Although challenges from the COVID-19 pandemic still linger, Indonesia's economy is starting to recover, recording 7% growth in the second quarter this year. With the government's support and participation from businesses, the economic recovery momentum is hoped to be sustainable and can bring Indonesia towards becoming the fifth strongest economic nation in the world by 2045. The Indonesian government continues to strengthen various national economic recovery programs to maintain Indonesia's recovery momentum amidst the pandemic and to create a sustainable growth towards the target of becoming the fifth strongest economy by 2045. During the HSBC Summit 2021, the Coordinating Minister of Economic Affairs, Erlangga Hartarto, reinforced the government's commitment and emphasized the budget policy that is focused on economic recovery with various fiscal incentives for businesses, support for MSMEs and new regulations to ensure the ease of doing business. The national economic recovery will continue to improve and will remain in, as an instrument for handling health and economic recovery. The structural reform will create a sustainable economic in the long term and drive the transformation into one of the world top five economics power by the year of 2045. Meanwhile, the present director of HSBC Indonesia, François de Marcourt, is hoping that the policy and regulation improvements can help Indonesia's economy in becoming more productive and businesses can capture the potential to push businesses and investments. Francois also assured that HSBC Indonesia is committed in supporting Indonesia's economic recovery and sustainable growth and to become a partner for businesses to expand and grow their portfolio. Pelaku usaha dan individu juga dapat menggunakan peluang-peluang usaha dan investasi yang memiliki daya saing dan potensi pertumbuhan tinggi. Di antaranya, sektor digital ekonomi dan inisiatif yang perhubungan dengan environmental, social, dan governance, ESG, seperti yang dibahas dalam diskusi panel hari ini. One of Indonesia's largest potential is the digital economy, a sentiment shared by the CEO of Gojek, Kevin Alui. This is because of the digital economy's comparably low digital transaction penetration. But to create an ASEAN digital ecosystem hub in Indonesia, the country needs individuals that can actually build the product, such as software engineers, data scientists, and UI UX programmer who can create world-class products. Ini sebenarnya yang uh, uh, saya lihat di Indonesia adalah challenge. Banyak yang mau uh, menjadi uh, entrepreneur, banyak yang mau menjadi founder, uh, banyak yang punya ambisi, tapi kalau dilihat, um, yang justru sangat kekurangan adalah orang-orang yang bisa membangun produk itu. Ini, ini, ini suatu keahlian yang hmm. mungkin di Indonesia bisa dikatakan cukup baru, uh, tapi um, kebutuhan dari pasarnya itu udah luar biasa besarnya. Based on the Ministry of Finance's data, Indonesia's digital economic transaction current value has reached 638 trillion rupiah and is predicted to increase three times as much in 2025 reaching 1,798 trillion rupiah. This number is equivalent to 40% of ASEAN's total digital economic potential in 2025.